میکنی؟ از این آزی؟ از از visiting Robin in the hospital and we were talking about Stone and all the dinners we used to have here together. Good times. Yeah, they were. And I guess I just... I don't know, I just ended up here. I just wanted to remember what it felt like when I was happy. Yeah, me too. So you come here a lot? Uh, no, I haven't been here since uh, Luke's club for her dad. Uh, yeah, Robin told me Luke had a really hard time after Laura got sick. Yeah, it was sad. He uh, pretty much trashed what was left of his life, and then he just took off for a while. Yeah. You can't write some memories, can you? There's a lot of them here. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the day I moved in with you in your old apartment. You remember that? Yeah, I do remember, because I I've never seen... So many clothes in my entire life. <laughs> so why did you buy me so, so many new dresses? Because and I wanted to give you everything. Yeah, you did. So what are the odds that we would end up here together? I told you we were connected, right? We always have been here since you saved my life. Are you talking about when you ran me down? Well, I, I, was, <laughs> I was trying hard not to, you know, bleed to death and you helped me out. And uh, I don't see why, because, you know, if anybody else sees somebody hunched over a steering wheel with a bullet in the chest, they usually call 911. Right. Right. Well... You told me what to do. Mm -hmm. and no one had ever done that before. So, you know, I just did what he said. Okay, first and last time that's ever happened. <laughs> I don't even know what I liked more, knowing that I'd saved your life, or knowing that, I don't know, maybe it was just that one time that you trusted me enough to share a secret with me. Well, we, we shared more than that because you literally gave me your blood, right? So that means that you were kind of like part of me. And you always will be. Yeah, that's what you used to say. You know, when I lived here, it was the only time in my whole life that I was ever really happy. I used to love to see you smile. You were like a kid on you know. Christmas morning, your, your, your whole face would light up. What happened? What do you mean? Well, because there's a sadness in your in your eyes now. Like the light is not there. And I, I just hate to think that I had anything to do with that. When we first got together, you were so full of hope, life. You didn't have that sadness in your eyes. And I just hoped that I, I that I didn't have that. No, you, we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, uh, I'm sorry if I'm not happy enough for you these no. days. It's just, I mean, you know, it might have something to do with the fact that I'm living like a prisoner at Jason's house. Don't do that. What? Make, make it about everything else, but what we're talking about right here, the, the things here no. were good and bad. Things happened. Yeah, things happened. A lot of stuff happened between us. You left me twice. Right, right. You changed me. Yeah, I know, and I... It all, you know... I don't know, I just sometimes I can't stop thinking about it when, I, when you were wearing that wire. Why would you bring that up? That's so long ago. It just... I don't know. I just remember it, you know, like it was yesterday. You were screaming and crying and I was yelling and there was a point where I wanted to, like, do something that... that you didn't. I know. You but never if I laid anything. a hand you on never, you, you, never, you never laid a hand on me. I just remember the anger and the, just building and building. And... You made me desperate? Yeah, I know. That's what you did to me. 
No one makes me that way. You loved me. You loved me more than anyone ever loved me. And I was afraid that if I ever let that go, that I might not ever feel that again. Have you? You know, my whole life I was always trying to get my dad's attention. And then yours. <laughs> mm. Now you got everybody's attention, because I can't pick up a magazine without seeing your yeah, face. Yeah, but I never did get his. And you, you know. Then there's you. I mean, I don't seem so silly now, because it was so long ago and I was such a little girl, but I was always trying to get you to see me, you know, like the real me inside of me. And you remember how long it took you to say I love you to me? I was scared. You were what? Scared. Oh my god. Why didn't you say that to me 15 years ago? It's a long time ago, isn't that what you keep telling me? Yeah. You're my first love. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, you know? how much time passes or how long it's been since we've seen each other, you will always be that for me. I know when you first came back, I came on real strong. I mean, I, was, I did, didn't let it happen naturally. No, no, it was nothing you did, trust me. It's just, I don't know, I've never, I've never been great at handling my feelings for you. You confuse the hell out of me. I never understood why I, I fell for a spoiled brat <laughs> with a temper to boot. <laughs> uh, it was because you fell for yourself. Uh. <laughs> you know, every time we fought, things got broken. Yeah, and every time we'd call the quits, I'd lie to myself and tell me it was no big deal, but I really could never imagine living without you. Somebody asked me today what what made you different than the other woman I've been with. It's just kind of like the way you love me, you know? The way you gave me your all. And, you know, as much as you were afraid of losing me, I was afraid of not being with you. You still with Brenda? Oh. Oh, kind of. What, what do you mean, kind of? She asked me to drive her to Luke's old club. I got the door open for her, but she didn't want me to go inside with her. I waited in the car for about an hour, and when I went to go check on her, she was in Mr. C's old place. He was with her. Bren Brenda's with Sonny right now? Yeah, yeah, I was in the corridor, and I heard him talking. I, there's no way that I'm going to be the one to drag Miss Barrett out. There's a lot of things in my job description, but calling Mr. C who we can and can't talk to is not one of them. Okay, I'm, I'm going to handle it. Brenda's with Sonny? Yeah, at his old apartment. I got to get her. No, wait, don't, don't. Just give them a chance to see where it goes. I never would have left you. Not when you had to marry Lily, not when you left me at the altar. I wouldn't have done anything for you. And the truth is, I have waited for you. Sinking After you, the light went out for me. I'm sinking fast. I wish we would have stayed together, but we didn't. So. We can't we can't change what happened, but we can we can try to be together now.
far from where we've been We'll carry on the ties that never end We'll bring us home again